Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Uh, this is for Bambox, the regular Bambox, because as we all know, there are now two different types of Bambox. There's the regular one, and there's the horror Bambox, which I did a review of the very first one, which was the September horror bo uh, box for Bam uh, in a previous video. Go check that out if you have interest. This is the September regular box. Uh, it's showing up late in October because they had a bunch of items that were held up because of the hurricane stuff going on and shipping issues. Um, so obviously not their fault. They're very good about communicating to people that that's what's going on, which is very nice. Uh, they've always been really good with customer service. Oh, let me move the, move my microphone out of the way. A little more professional-ish. Anyway, so uh, I remember a few of the properties for this because it's been a while when they, since they teased it. And I remember being excited about a few of the properties in here, um, but not necessarily all of them. But we'll see, we'll see what what's in here. Um, so this month I'll actually be getting what, three boxes in the month, I guess, because this is the late September regular box, and then I'll get the regular October and the October um, horror one, which the regular one for October. And the horror one for October, obviously, are both very horror-centric, which is totally fine with me. So here we go. Gonna jump into this one. Very excited for the pin and the art print, because that is my jam. All about those things. Autographs are bon good bonuses when, the, when they're nice. Tissue paper for the cat. She's running low at the moment, so thank goodness this showed up. Second piece, thank you for sending two. All right, first item is something in a box. It must be a prop replica, I would assume, in a little box. Oh, oh okay, okay. For, I had to look at it for a minute. I'm like, what the heck is this thing? Okay, if you look at this, you're like, what is that? Look, okay, can you see that? When I first saw it, I'm just like, what is this, like, beat-up thing? This is a prop replica of the doubloon or whatever f for uh, from the movie The Goonies. The one they used to, like, you know, put it up and, like, look through and line up the rocks to figure out where the entrance to the cave is. It's heavy, too. Like, it's metal. You can hear, you can hear it against my... It's against my ring. It's metal. That's nice, heavy, cool. Actually, this is probably my favorite of the prop replicas that they've done. That's actually really cool and would be really nice to display. Nice, good work. Yeah, I usually haven't been big on the prop replicas. I've been like, meh, but that's a cool one. I like that one, I like it. Oh, the patch is next. I'm usually not a big fan of the patch. I mean, a lot of times they're designed well, it's just that I don't like I don't do patches, so. Oh, okay. For a patch, that is a cool one. From Watchmen, comic and, well, graphic novel and movie, and soon to be a TV series, I think, too. This is the uh, happy, the smiley face with the blood on it. People who have seen the movie or read the graphic novel will know the reference. Not going to say it for people who haven't. You should check it out. The movie's good, the graphic novel is way better, which is typically the case anyway. So, um, for a patch, that's a, that's a good patch. It's a good patch. This next thing is like something soft in a bag. <laughs> is this a Deadpool mask? That's just, if, if it is, that's actually pretty cool and good timing because people could use it for Halloween. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's kind of like a little bit like a balaclava, but let me check this out. Let's see if I can even like see through. Yeah, Deadpool. This is actually pretty sweet. Look at me. I'm straight out of business casual Deadpool. This is nice. Nice. Look at this. Looks good. Got the piece at the top. It's pretty accurate for the for the movie and comics. Oh, yeah, that's cool actually. And like the eye pieces, like legit, it's like leathery. 
especially on the eyepieces, and there's like that white mesh in there. So it's like white, but you can still see through it. This is nice. Um, nice quality. And I know they had done, a few months ago, they did a Nacho Libre mask, which was kind of cool, but it was actually like kind of tight and hard to, to wear. And plus it's from the movie Nacho Libre, which is a terrible, terrible movie. This is from a much better movie, and it's well made, and it's cool. That's nice. That's good. I like that. I guess. I got, did I get a one-up? I got a one-up. Oh, hells yeah. So I got a one-up, which means I got a special edition item in here. I'm hoping it's something really cool. I assume it's, it'll probably be... Well, usually it's either a, a special edition pin or a special edition art print. So depending on what is available, I don't know what I hope more. Probably pin, though. Because usually with the art prints, it's things that are... It's just like color differentiation. With art pins, it's usually like totally different pins. But we'll see. All right, so here's my pin. This pin is sweet. Okay, this is where I got it. Uh, this actually is my one-up. It's a... 250 of these made only pin of Space Ghost. I remember now I remember I had forgotten that Space Ghost was going to be one of the properties, but I did like watching Space Ghost Coast to Coast when it was on um, Cartoon Network for Adult Swim. And it looks like that this is Space Ghost sitting behind his desk on Space Ghost Coast to Coast and he's about to blast Zorak. That's nice. I, that pin is this is probably my favorite like non horror related pin that Vambox has done that's nice I like that he's like literally like touching the buttons he's gonna blast uh, Zorak with his laser beam that's cool that's really cool this is a I like this box I really like this box at the moment so the next thing is either the art print or the autograph um Okay, art. This is the art print. Oh, okay. The Defenders. That's right. Defenders was one of them. I have number 100... Uh, I'm sorry, 202 out of 2,000. Eh, it's, a, it's art print. I'm not really big on this art print, honestly. Usually I really like the art prints, but this... I'll see if I can get better. Like, I'm sorry because of the glare. I don't really want to take it out, but as you can kind of see... Jesus... There we go. That's much better. You can see it's the Defenders as a band. And, it you know, there's Iron Fist over here as the Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones. Um, she's singing guitar. It's that guitar, guitar and crouching and drums. But, um, I mean, I'm not huge on this art print. I'm sure there will be people who really like it, but it's not really hitting for me. But the other thing is I haven't actually watched The Defenders, so that's part of it. So, yeah. Then there is the signed item. What? Okay. This has... <laughs> I don't understand. It's been uh, autographed from Brian Herring... And it's a BB-8. Did he play BB-8? I don't think so. Oh, I guess maybe he did. So I, for a minute, I was just thinking it was Alan Tudyk. But Alan Tudyk did the voice uh, of K2SO in um, Rogue One. So that's what I was thinking about for a minute. So I guess Brian Herring did the noises for BB-8. Um, I mean, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, now I'm now I'm remembering that they had said that there was going to be a, a uh, autograph from Star Wars, and it's a character that was in the Force Awakens and will also be in the Last Jedi. Um, they're correct. Not nothing like really big, but that's kind of what happens when you have like thousands of these boxes. Is you can get you can get these people, you can't get like. You know, like an Adam Driver or a bon John Boyega or Mark Hamill or someone like that. So, you know. Okay, and that's it for the actual items. And go through the you know, box, still looking the same design-wise. Go through the booklet. Of course.
cool design on there. It's got one of the Imperial Destroyers. Uh, the Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Oh, I got one of the most, I got the most limited pin, which is cool because they have like the normal one, then they have the 500 made and they have the 250. So I was very fortunate to get the 250. And actually, that's my favorite of the pins. So very happy about that one. This is the one we got, or I got. This is the normal one. This is the 500 one. That was Bambox. Thank you. Love it. Uh, then the thing for, you know, the Watchmen patch. Um, oh, oh, wow. Okay, so there were three different uh, things that, um, pictures that could have been autographed for BB-8. I think I got the least interesting of them, but still cool. So I got the one down here that's just like straight up black black and it's BB-8 looking out. This one's really cool. That one's like, this is the best way I can show Oh, yeah, there you go. That one's really good. And then this one with, um, damn. I, I forget the character's name for whatever reason. Ah, the worst. But this one would have been the best one to get. That one's really cool. It's like very artsy. Uh, then they have the Spanish doubloon right there from Goonies, that prop replica. That's really cool. Um, I'm sure they have like a lot of cool text to it. Okay, and here's here there were two different prints, um, art prints that were done for this box. Now the one that we got was from do, 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 Nadine Castics, and the other one was by a person named Logan Pack. And I think I would have preferred the one by Logan Pack. Um, I'm just not big on the one that I got. See, this is the one from Logan Pack, and it's just kind of, it's kind of like each of the characters and it's their own thing. The whole band thing is kind of weird to me. That's why I don't really like that print. It's just kind of, it doesn't really fit. Then you have the Deadpool prop replica mask. We already covered that. It's nice, it's cool. And then they ended up having, they have a thing about their one-up system, promoting the horror box. And then they are having a contest for people to win a green Power Ranger Funko um, pop vinyl signed by Jason David Frank, who was Tommy, the Green Ranger. So, as you can see down here, there it is. So, um, overall, this is a good box. This was a good box, I like this. Um, this isn't like, the problem with an autograph like this is like there's a lot of hype leading up to it for people because they're like, Star Wars autograph, been in both, I mean, was in the one movie, is gonna be in the next movie too. So with these types of things, you have to keep in mind there are thousands of them to be done, so you always have to think smaller, much smaller characters. So that makes sense. But knowing that and expecting like a much smaller character, that's pretty cool. You know, I'll put this up. Why not? Plus, BB-8 was super cute and cool. Love BB-8. Um, yeah, the the print, I was you know, just not a big fan. I would have liked the other one more, but then again, I'm not huge on Defenders at all at the moment. Uh, I haven't seen Defenders. I kind of stopped because um, I didn't want to watch Iron Fist because I've heard it's so bad. And then people said that the Iron Fist characters like totally kill in the Defenders series, so I don't know. This, <laughs> so awesome. Actually, I gotta say that this and the Goonies doubloon, Spanish doubloon, the two best prop replicas that I've gotten in Bambox, probably. Really cool. And it's, like I said, Awesome. People can use this for a Halloween costume. Got me considering it. Um, and then the P piece de resistance for me for this box, the two out of two hundred and fifty pin of Space Ghost. Which actually, I think these usually are numbered on the back. I have number eight of two hundred and fifty. That's cool because the lower numbers people are usually like, oh man, the lower numbers. So that's awesome. I love that pin. That pin is so cool. Love this box. This box is really nice. Like, it's nice. It's a really nice box. Bam box, you're killing it. Adam, thank you, man. So cool. I'm sticking with it. And I'm sticking with the horror. I cannot wait for the October boxes. It's going to be amazing. And I've been in my glory because I love October. It's my favorite month of the year. Outstanding.
anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. And uh, we'll see what we unbox next time. But until next time, keep it brutal.